below 13 subscribers. I'm gonna be doing something a little different today. This is Night Trap on the Sega CD. And I decided to do this game because, I mean, it's a little different, it's like retro, and mostly because um, this game started the rated M tag on, on all games that contain adult content. And but yeah, we'll get to the we'll get to that later when, to explain why, like later in the game, because there's a scene we'll get to eventually. And yeah, sorry I haven't posted any videos for my 13 subscribers in like a month, but I've been busy with stuff and probably get some more Fallout stuff up. Hopefully more Zelda. And this game won't take that many videos. Like, I mean, it's like an hour long movie or something it's, it's, this game's like a like a movie you can control but it's not gonna be that many videos I'll tell you that and I've beaten it before but but I haven't played it a million times cause yeah I played this game a million times to beat it perfectly but so I'll shut up now the Sega control will attack team scat at mission 230 Five teenage girls have disappeared after spending the night at the old Lakeshore Winery House of Mr. and Mrs. Victor Martin and their children, Jeff and Sarah. Right now, another five girls are headed towards the Martins to spend the night. Your mission? Protect those girls from whatever happened to the last ones. Now listen up. Last night, one of our agents got into the house and found some a kind of Genesis controller. Hidden cameras in almost every room and a series of traps. Our agent spliced an override into the security system, allowing you, you to have control of the cameras and the traps. Sorry about the lag. This unit. Use the traps to capture anyone or anything that endangers the lives of those girls. But make sure you don't trap someone you should be protecting. Uh, one slight problem. The traps are protected with an access code. They won't work unless you enter the right code. Right now, the code is set to blue, and you have control of the traps. But anyone inside the house can change that code at any time. So pay close attention to what they're saying. Our override cable is here in, in, in hallway way, 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 way one. If any, anyone disconnects it, you lose control for good. This is my attack squad. Typical. And this is Kelly, one of my best undercover agents. She'll be arriving with the rest of hey, the Hey, didn't she die in a drug overdose? I'm putting her life Dana and Plato. the lives of those other girls in your hands. So don't even think messing up. If you don't have the brains or the guts for this assignment, give the controls to someone who does. Or I'll give it to my grandma. The girls should be pu pulling into the driveway. You're wasting time. Get, get over there now. Looks like you're not up, up, up to, to, to this mission. Breaking contact. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? I lost already? The game hasn't even started yet. Wow. I guess I'm not supposed to watch that intro all the way. I guess it's a waste of time. It's kind of retarded. Imagine playing like uh, a campaign on Black Ops and the stupid cutscenes with the guy in the chair. Oh yeah. Imagine like playing that first mission in the game and and like you already died a million times because you watched the intro or whatever. It's stupid. Well I guess they're trying to be really real with this stuff. It's like oh if you watch this scene like oh you screwed up. I'm like I just screwed up right now. I'm trying to catch these guys. Ooh, oh, 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 yep, you're done. Sorry, I can't watch every scene. Because if you watch every scene, you, you can't you can't watch every single scene that's going on. Because if you do, then these guys are just lurking around and and you'll just fuck yourself over. Because you gotta catch these guys. There's like multiple scenes going on at the same time. On this little time scale. And see, that's the thing. You can't watch everything. Or you lose. And if you lose, if you miss like 50 people, then I think it's like game over. 
Yeah, this game's really gay. I mean, if you want to beat this game perfectly and not miss one person, you gotta play it like a million times. Or I just missed those guys, I think. Or you gotta use safe states and look up a walkthrough on the internet. That's that's the only way you can do it. Besides playing it a billion times. And I am not gonna play this game a billion times or use a walkthrough. I'm gonna play it blind. Even though I've already beaten it, but that was like years ago. God damn it. Better save it just in case. I've already died once. I already lost the game once so far. And that was like during the intro. How do you lose a game during the intro of the game? Oh, come on. No, I'm not missing that one. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, abusing, I'm abusing save states. Wow, those guys are stuttering so much, they're making me stutter. Oh, and another thing, like, there's these uh, access codes, and so right now it's blue. And during the game, like, you gotta pay attention to certain scenes that say, like, they talk about changing the access code to, like, green or something, and you gotta, look, you gotta like, uh, listen for that. Because sometimes they'll change it without you knowing, and then you can't catch them. You can't trigger the traps if you're on the wrong access code. I don't think that's... No, that's just one of the characters. See, I'm not watching. Uh, maybe I can watch this scene. Have to go too. This is special vintage. Oh, Jeffrey, don't be so selfish. Think of the poor, starving augers. Those animals. They're here. Good. Back off, good face. You just better be glad I, I brought you along. The only reason you brought me along is because Mom made you. Shut up. Well, I can tell this is gonna be fun. All right. So basically, um, the story of this game is. Like these teenagers or whatever are s spending the night at their friend's house, and there's a secret agent with them. Oh, I gotta catch this guy. There's a secret agent with them. Um, it's actually a known star, Dana Plato, but she's dead now. She like killed herself in a drug overdose. Oh, wait, here we go. I gotta catch these guys. And anyway, yeah. So like these kids are spending the night at their friend's house and. And they send a secret agent with them, and they don't know. And I gotta control these traps and just catch all these bad guys or whatever. And pretty much the whole point of the game, whole thing of the game, or the main thing. It's, it's just like an 80s movie. It's a horror, a B horror movie. Pretty much what it is. Oh, I'm not missing that. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna get that. I wish they had a rewind feature on this, like they have on the Z SNES emulator, whatever. Hey Sarah, who's that? That's weird, Eddie. He's just one of the neighbors. He's really like, cute down. He really. <laughs> Got ya. <laughs> Whatever. They've already missed 18 guys. That's pretty bad. Really weak out. We're about to catch these guys. 